Hi, it's Katrina. From molten iron rivers and an incredible number of newly discovered life forms, here are 10 amazing discoveries made under the Earth's surface. Number 10. Mars-like structures. With the next big challenge in space exploration being to travel to Mars, scientists are trying to find ways to prepare humans for the environment. But it turns out they don't actually need to look that far to see what it's like, because there's a mine in England that's very, very similar. Called the Bulby Mine, it's an underground system that stretches more than 621 miles out underneath the North Sea. What's unusual about this place is that the walls are made from hexagonal patterns, resembling a honeycomb, which are believed to have been formed as much as 250 million years ago when an island sea dried up and left salty deposits behind. Similar structures have been found other places too, such as in Death Valley in the United States. Why does this even matter? Because the hexagonal features have also been discovered on Mars, with a series of images that were captured by the Curiosity rover. Not only does this add to the evidence that suggests Mars was once covered with water, but it will also help us learn how to survive in such terrain, and understand what microbes or useful minerals may be concealed within the walls. Number 9. Mountains We're used to seeing the range of topographical mountains on our planet at the surface, but underground? Recent discoveries have led researchers to believe it's just as varied under the Earth's surface. A study published in early 2019 explained how geophysicists analyzed seismic waves to infer what lay underground. A particularly strong magnitude 8.2 earthquake in Bolivia in 1994 provided the ideal dataset, and they were stunned to see what they found. As we know, there are different layers to the Earth's structure, but these are far more complicated than had been previously thought. In particular, this study was researching the so-called 660-kilometer boundary at the base of the transition zone. Rather than being flat, this region was found to be rough, so much so that it looks very similar to the surface. Just as we see flat ocean floors and the peaks of mountains, that's how the structures appear to be down there too. And there's a very good chance that, of these mountains, some of them dwarf the size of Everest. And now for number 8. But first, do you know what the deepest man-made hole on Earth is? Or maybe you remember from a previous video? Leave your guess in the comments below. The answer is coming up. And be sure to subscribe if you are new here. We'd love to have you! Number 8. A Lake of Molten Carbon Carbon is crucial to life on this planet, but also an element that's linked with the increasingly changing environment that's seen worldwide. As we learn more about the planet, more and more deposits of carbon are being found, such as in the permafrost and within the ocean. And in 2017, researchers discovered one of the biggest sources of all, a massive lake of molten carbon beneath the western United States. Luckily, there's no imminent risk of it being released into the atmosphere. It's 217 miles beneath the surface, but in total it covers an area of about 700,000 square miles. That's roughly the size of Mexico. The reason why this molten lake is here is because of tectonic activity in the region. It's where the Pacific Plate moves beneath the North American Plate. The increased temperatures and pressures, as well as the presence of carbon dioxide and water within the rock, causes the plate to partially melt, something which is now believed to happen around the world. World. Number 7. Heat Plumes In 2013, scientists announced the results of a study that used seismic waves to investigate the Earth beneath volcanoes, and found something quite unexpected. Described as huge fingers of heat, with some as much as a few thousand miles long, these structures help to explain hotspot volcanoes that have given birth to islands like Hawaii and Tahiti. Usually, volcanoes form on the boundaries between the tectonic plates, where the magma rises up through the gaps that are formed. But hotspot volcanoes don't form anywhere near the boundaries, and for a long time, this had been a complete mystery. The discoveries of these heat plumes, though, which originate deep within the Earth's mantle, has shed new light on the processes taking place deep within the Earth, and explains how volcanoes can, in theory, form anywhere. Number 6. Diamonds Diamonds are a highly sought-after stone, as you know, and very valuable because of their rarity. A recent discovery has shown that the Earth has far more diamonds than anyone had previously thought. But don't get too excited yet, because they're currently well beyond our capability for extraction. In total, it's thought there could be a quadrillion tons of diamond within the planet, and possibly much, much more. The only problem is that it's all about 100 miles beneath the surface. The findings were based upon the study of cratons. 
huge inverted mounds of rock that can reach as much as 200 miles throughout the crust. Analysis based on tectonic waves suggests that as much as 2% of these cratons is made up of diamond, which is how researchers were able to come up with their estimates. The difference between diamond and the most common rock in these layers, olivine, is quite clear. The researchers say that the reason why the data they collected seems unusual is because sound travels more than twice the speed through diamond. For the moment, of course, the findings are based on deduction from the evidence, and perhaps one day we'll be able to dig down to find out for sure. Number 5. A New Type of Ice Diamonds are formed deep within the Earth's crust before working their way toward the surface. By studying them, scientists can find out what the conditions are like so deep down, and a recent discovery surprised everyone. They found, trapped within the rigid structures of a diamond, a type of ice that was not previously thought to occur naturally on Earth. Known as I-7, it is sometimes formed during experiments and is about one and a half times as dense as the ice that we use. Ice-1, which is what we're familiar with, has its oxygen atoms arranged in a hexagonal shape, but Ice-7 has its oxygen atoms arranged in a cubic shape. There are actually quite a few different forms of ice, which are created under different pressures, but this new form is a lot more stable than the others. It's thought that Ice-7 is prevalent throughout our solar system, in places like the interior of ice moons such as Enceladus and Europa, where the regions lower down are exerted to extreme forces. But until this recent discovery, it wasn't believed that the right environment Environment even existed on Earth. Number 4. A Huge Reservoir As more research is carried out into looking at our planet's structure, new evidence continually comes forward that forces a rethink as to how the Earth was formed in the first place. In 2014, scientists looking at seismic data found an anomaly at the boundary of the Earth's crust. There, about 400 miles beneath the surface, is a layer of a mineral called ringwoodite, which contains water. When calculating quite how much water there is, Researchers were amazed to find that there's more than three times the amount of water locked away in there as there is in the oceans on the surface. This means that rather than water having been transported onto the planet by icy comets crashing into it, it's now thought likely that the water on the surface was driven up from below by geological activity. Number 3. Molten Iron River in 2016, researchers studying the magnetic field of the Earth discovered a river flowing beneath the surface. But this isn't a river of water, instead it's made from molten iron. The readings that were taken from space showed this formation to stretch from beneath North America to Russia at depths of around 1,800 miles and temperatures approaching those seen on the surface of the Sun. It's 260 miles wide and has increased in speed since the year 200 and is now traveling at about 28 miles per year. It's not clear why it's been speeding up, but it's thought to be a naturally fluctuating phenomenon that's crucial to the formation of the magnetic field around the planet that protects us from solar activity. Further understanding of these currents that are connected with the molten core of the Earth will help to monitor the strength of the magnetic field at any time, and perhaps even act as a warning system for when solar flares may strike. Number 2. Strange Sounds And now for the answer! The deepest man-made hole on Earth in terms of depth below the surface is the Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia, which goes 40,000 feet deep into the crust. Even though recently two other holes have been dug to slightly deeper depths due to variations in the Earth's surface, the Kola Hole remains an impressive feat of engineering, and it is still the deepest artificial point on Earth. It was originally planned to be deeper, but the extreme temperatures at the bottom make it virtually impossible to operate machinery in, at least with the technology we have today. Amidst rumors that the Russians had dug through into hell, one researcher wanted to know what it sounded like at such depths. In 2014, she was able to work with geologists to devise a way to record in the extreme heat, which involved lowering a geophone and an ultrasonic sensor and using specialized software to interpret the results. Unfortunately, the Kola borehole was inaccessible, so the one that was used was a 30,000-foot hole in Germany. At the lowest point, temperatures reached more than 500 degrees Fahrenheit, but the results were incredible so much so that the rumbling sounds were turned into an art exhibition, and still to this day raises questions about what it was exactly that she managed to record. Number 1. Billions of Tons of Microbes 
We spend so much time looking out to the stars to find signs of alien life, but researchers looking within our own planet have found that the life forms that we know about on Earth are just the beginning. Beneath the surface lives billions of tons worth of microbial life. In fact, despite the lack of nutrients and the extreme pressures and temperatures down there, it's thought that as much as 70% of bacteria and archaea live inside the planet. From microscopic single-celled organisms to tiny worms and zombie microbes that are barely alive, there's a wealth of discoveries still to be made. The 23 billion tons of microbes estimated to live beneath the surface accounts for 400 times the amount of carbon found inside all humans. The deepest anything has been found so far is three miles beneath the ground, but scientists are still trying to determine if there is a maximum depth beyond which nothing can exist. Amazingly, these life forms show just as much genetic diversity as those that live on the surface, which makes you wonder, what else could be down there? Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe before you leave and join the Origins Explained family! See you soon! Bye!